Style is saying who you are without having to speak. So this year in 2023, we are going to have fun with style. We're going to have so many new series on the salon chat. I pulled my audience last year and found out that there are three top things that you really want to focus on outside of hair. We all know that this channel starts with hair, but hair is not the only aspect of having a total look. Because I'm a certified style coach with the Style Coaching Institute out of London, I still love to look at clients from head to toe when they come into the salon so that I can know exactly how to help them implement the best look for themselves, even just starting with the hair. When we talk about fun with style, we're going to really dive into this topic this year on the Salon Chat. So what's up guys, it's your girl Sharon and today we're going to talk about fun. It's going to be an acronym for fun with style or fun with fashion, whatever you feel like you want that to be. So let's get into this video. So let's start with the word F in fun. For me, F in fun means fashion forward. And there are so many different ways that you can create a more fashion forward look so that you're not copying off you know, other people's style and that you have your own authentic style. So the best thing to do with your wardrobe, your style, your fashion forward sense is to buy less, choose well, and just mix it all up. And that's what I love to do. So again, the F stands for fashion forward. So you need to get your closet right, first of all. Let's just start with that. The second thing you need to do is have fun. Just have fun with style, have fun with fashion. Because fashion really is all the stuff you see on the runway and style is what we choose out of the things that we see on the runway or the magazines or the bloggers and or the influencers. Another thing that you can do in the, with the F in fun with style and fashion is don't follow the trends, create your own. You don't have to look like everybody else, right? Because we're all different shapes, we're all different sizes. And I just had an amazing video, this one right here, of a client, her name is Miss Olivia. I want you to go and watch her beautiful montage of photos of how she has fun with fashion. So we all need to have fun with fashion and create your own trends. And the next thing is after you've gone through your closet and you've decluttered your closet, which is something I recommend you do at least every quarter. So now let's talk about the you in fun with style and fashion. You want to be unique. You want to choose your style, how it best suits and fits your personality. You don't want to be like everybody else. And I know I say that all the time. But I know there's so many different fashion influences out here. There's so many different bloggers. You know, I always get inspired from other fashion influencers, from bloggers, but I never like put on something that they have strictly on me because it might not be for my shape. It, not, it might not be for your shape. It might not be for your style personality. You might not be as bold. You might be a little bit more casual and toned down. So be unique. The second thing is be unforgettable. Like when you walk in a room, you want to be unforgettable. When they go home at night, remember that lady that we saw with, with that bold necklace on or that those bold, big bold earrings on? You want to be unforgettable. Make people think about you the next day when you go to an event or when you walk in a room. So those things take time. Being unforgettable takes time. Some of you guys out there don't even like to shop. You might have to take a little bit more time to work with your style, to work with who you are in your style in order to be unforgettable. And the last thing that you in fun with style and fashion is be unapologetic. Don't apologize for what you wear. Don't apologize for your style. I'm 54, but that doesn't mean I have to be old with my style and with my fashion. That doesn't mean I have to try to dress like somebody in their 20s. And there's so many videos on YouTube about how to look younger with your style. I'm not trying to look younger. I know that I've created a style, a unique look for me. I don't follow the trends. So I'm gonna look youthful. I'm gonna I look like modern, the other one. right? So like if that. you know who you are yeah, cool. and That's you her. know the style and the look that you want for you that best suits your body, that best fits your personality and 
it's going to create a bold look for you. And it's going to create a more youthful look for you. And it's going to create a more modern look for you automatically. So you don't have to worry about dressing 20 years younger or following fashions that 20 year olds are wearing or 30 and 40 year olds are wearing. I'm going to follow me. I'm going to follow my style personality. I'm going to follow the way I want to make myself look bold. And you know, you're just going to do it naturally. You're going to do it organically when you find out who you are in your style. And the last thing is be unbothered. When I say be unbothered, I mean, don't worry about what people say. You know, I used to be that way. You just know, used to worry about, you know, what people think of me or, and I think we all have some of that. I'm just going to be honest. We all have a little bit of that, you know, in our system, but we have to get over that, you know? We have to just push past that and be the best versions of ourselves every single day. And I'm still working on that. You know, I'm, I, every day it's, it's a work and I'm still a work in progress. We all are works in progress. So be unbothered and wear what you want to wear. As long as you feel comfortable in it and as long as you feel like you're making a statement, then be unbothered by what the world says about how you get dressed. And I love this quote that says, Prada is a work of art, but so is a well accessorized thrift store find. I love that quote. I live, live, live by that quote. So the N in fun with style and fashion stands for never copycat. I always say be inspired, but never copycat. You can be inspired by a total look that someone is wearing. You can be inspired by a mannequin dressed up with a hot outfit, you know, in the retail stores, Nordstrom's or wherever you love to shop. Learn how you can be inspired by that and go back into your closet and see what you have that can inspire you to create a look all of your own based on the inspiration that you got from the mannequin. But just copycatting that mannequin, it may not look good on you. It may not be fitting for your style, your body shape and your style personality. And there's nothing wrong with trying to be bolder and trying to step out of your comfort zone when it comes to fashion and style, but never be a copycat. And I love this quote, shop smart, stay chic and make it last. And the main thing you wanna do is find women that look like you to get your inspiration from. Recreate looks by adding your own creativity, your own garments from your closet, you know, gain tips from the bloggers, from the magazines, from Pinterest, and create the look especially for you and how best it will make you feel when you get dressed. So we're gonna take a deeper dive into this video. So behind me is a little small capsule wardrobe. And I just wanna to explain to you exactly what I did with this capsule wardrobe. And later down the line, you're gonna see exactly that quote that I mentioned earlier, buy less, choose well, and just mix it all up. So I was in Ross the other day, right? And I'm gonna show you the items that I purchased. Before I go shopping, I always think about what's already in my closet. If you don't closet declutter, you'll never know what's in your closet. I already know what's in my closet. I already know what I love. I know the colors that I love and I'm, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm trying to get out of this black thing. I'm a hairstylist, so I wear a lot, a lot of black, right? So. I'm gonna show you some items that I purchased. This is a little athletic jacket that I purchased. This is one of my favorite colors, burgundy, wine, if you wanna say it, or cranberry, whatever color you wanna say. So this is one of the items that I purchased. Now, when I saw this jacket, it was it was a good price for me. <laughs> um, it's by Ebb and Flow. I'm sure it's some type of um, athletic um, company. But when I, when I saw it, it was like $12.99. So I'm like, okay, I can wear that. I tried it on. Usually I wear it small in a jacket. So I purchased it. So I got this jacket. And then what else did I get? I got these pants. Because 2020, girl, it took me for a loop, okay? And I got so used to wearing athleisure, okay? So athletic wear that looks more like leisure, you know, garments. So I'll mix and match some leggings with a blazer. I've been used to wearing athleisure like every day. Like I sprang my ankle back in 2020 and um, I started wearing these all-stars. And I, when I tell you I've been wearing them all-stars since 2020, but I love them. I don't wear them every day, but I wear them a lot, okay? And so I bought these pants right here. These are by Fabletics. Now I love when I see the original tag, the original tag, 
says $79.95, but the Ross tag is $6.99, right? So that's my second item I bought. So I got the jacket, I got these pants, and you guys know I love these little hoodies. So this is like a really thin hoodie. I love the little um, finger hole shirts as well. So this little item um, is by 90 Degrees. I'm sure it's an active wear type of brand also, but it has an original tag on it and it's $52, but I only paid $8.99 for it. And it's a small, it's an extra small. So that's another item that I bought. Three, just three items. But then what I did when I got home, because I know those are my colors, so I looked at some of the stuff I already have in my closet. So this is my little capsule wardrobe. In a capsule wardrobe, you just mix and mingle and create unlimited styles from these items right here. So I added to the capsule, I added this white shirt. This is one of my favorites. And most of my garments are purchased at consignment stores, high-end consignment stores. Very little thrift. Some thrift stores, um, I do find some amazing pieces, but I don't thrift as much as I do. I actually don't even shop as much as I used to. I cannot shop for a whole year and still look amazing when I walk out. So now this is another shirt. This is a Zara shirt I think I bought a couple of years ago. That's the shirt. And then I have these pants, which is, there you go, the cranberry again, right? And then I have these pants already. Cranberry, they're like a pleather. And also another item I bought from Ross a couple of years back which is this DKNY blazer. I just thought this was a freaking amazing blazer. I think I paid $50 for this blazer, but it was worth every penny because it's like, a, it's almost like, um, I forgot the name of this material. I can't remember the name of this material, but it's really, really heavy and it's very, very well made. So remember, choose well. And last but not least is Forever 21. It's probably pleather, y'all. <laughs> But this jacket, it's a moto jacket. And it's Forever 21, but I purchased it from the consignment. So I probably paid about 18 bucks for this jacket. So now I'm gonna take you on a little experience and show you exactly how I take these items from this tiny capsule wardrobe and create seven looks for seven days of the week.
so there you have it guys all the garments that I showed you early in the video put into I don't know how many looks I know I think I said I was gonna do seven looks but I think you got a few bonus looks in there as well so I want to see some of those photos how you were inspired to take ten garments and create seven looks out of them even if you create two or three but make sure you shop your closet don't go and buy anything or invest in more clothes see what you have in your closet that you can create these looks yourself as well and do them based on your individual style you know what you like to wear what you like to put on you can find something in your closet you know to create your small capsule wardrobe and come up with unlimited looks that you can put together and wear. So the next video you should consider watching is what colors to wear with gray hair. So let us know in the comment section below what videos that you might be interested in seeing on our channel, The Salon Chat. So until the next time guys, take care.